Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. HBAR has reached the next target level that we discussed, which is here the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement at 4.6 cents. Yeah? A very, very important level. At the moment, I'm still primarily tracking this movement as an Elliott wave triangle. We had an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, which now starts to have a decent length and size. So it starts to look like a healthy wave D of a triangle. And then there could be one more lower high in an E wave, but I have no indication or evidence that it has started yet, which would be a corrective rally, should be a lower high, eventually resulting in another low, which should move below the um, January 23 or December 22 low, so below 3.6 cents. So the H bar analysis has not changed. Um, price is coming down deeper into support now. I have highlighted to you in previous videos the Fibonacci retracements, which are relevant here for this move to the downside. And there is uh, an overlap here at 4.6 cents with this Fibonacci retracement and another extension level. Plus we have here the next support just below that at 4.3 cents. That's the 88.7 Fib level overlap with another Fibonacci extension level. So I have also, um, you could pretty much argue that we have this ABC structure nearly complete. In the C wave, I basically have five waves as well. It's not very easy to count. Uh, also because the subwave structure is a bit messy, but I think you can get away with counting that as a one, two setup. Then we had three, four, five. So it shows you we're basically nearly there on the way down. Um, yeah, but um, doesn't mean, of course, that we have to turn around here. Ultimately, what the base case is, so what the thesis here is on this chart, is that we get another bear market low below the December 22 lows. Because all the recent rallies, they have just been corrective. Now, the move down is also corrective. So that's exactly why I'm tracking that Elliott wave triangle. So what we ultimately need now is to give us, to get that E wave, yeah? the price at some point needs to turn around, give us some evidence and how would it do that? Well, best evidence we can probably get, earliest evidence possible is a break above the recent swing high at 5.1 cents as piece of evidence that the A wave has started the A wave of the E wave, because an E wave in this triangle would be a corrective structure, then a B wave down and a C wave up. So we need some kind of an, a one, two setup for the A wave. Now important, what I actually wanted to say is the base case is still another low. So either we go there directly, and if we break below the relevant support levels here that have been indicated, then the more direct path to the downside is preferred. But as long as the 4.3 cent level is holding, I think a lower high can happen in an E-wave before we make that one more low. But a direct break out to the upside in a very bullish fashion is of course not completely unlikely. It's also not impossible, but it's nothing I'm primarily watching for right now. That's my update about HBAR. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.